Since I was young, I've always wanted to be a part of a group that was like the best of the best and coming to STM gave me that opportunity to achieve that dream. This group of girls is special because we train hard in everything we do. When one of us like gets down on ourselves or we don't have a good day, the rest of our teammates come in and step in and help to bring us up. We all have a common goal and everybody is completely set and invested in this one goal, a state championship again. We have played together for almost our whole lives, starting in club through high school. I feel like we're closer than the previous teams. We're like a family. We've all grown up together. It's a really seasoned group. They're very experienced. A lot of these girls have either been uh, on our varsity team since they were freshmen or sophomore year. They go into a game with a lot of confidence. They come to practice with a purpose. This group is, is set up for success right now. To win a six state championship would be something all of us can look back upon maybe like 20 years in the future and be like, wow, I worked hard for something and I truly accomplished something that before was impossible. Nobody's done it. Winning a six state championship would show everyone that girls soccer truly works as hard as they can. It would mean a lot to me, not only because we'd be leaving a legacy, but it would prove that all of our hard work has paid off. When we found out that we have an opportunity to do something that none of these other programs have ever done before, it's remarkable. It establishes a dynasty, right? It lets everybody know like soccer at STM is, is, is important. That's what's going to make it so special is all the players that have come through our system being able to, to know that they've created something truly uh, remarkable, truly special, and that nobody else in Louisiana high school history in soccer has ever accomplished. Winning a state championship is very tough. It takes a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication, and a lot of effort from the whole team. We need to give it all we have in practice, whether it's on the field, off the field, just showing who we truly are as a team. It's gonna take maximum effort from everyone. Like Everyone's gonna have to be 100% committed. Everyone's gonna have to do their roles. Even if it's small roles, like from the people that are injured, just them showing up will impact us and it will give us motivation. It's going to take every person on this team to do their job and with the right mentality, no matter what team we play, um, just to work to the best of our ability and we're going to get the outcome we want. Um, everybody on this team plays a role. Everybody from the last man, player who only plays on JV maybe, to the varsity starter who doesn't go off the field. Everyone is equally as important and we really emphasize that throughout the year. The first game of the season, we played LHS. Stepping onto the field for the first time that season, we knew there was a lot of expectations. And putting on the STM Crest, we know that everybody's going to give us our best. The LHS game was our first game of the season, so it was really exciting for like everyone to put on the uniform and get out on the field for the first time. The game started off a little slow. Obviously, wasn't quite where we wanted to be. The score at halftime ended up being one nothing, and we knew we could do better. And so at halftime, we made some adjustments. And all of a sudden, things just started clicking for us. And the game ended up being 4-1. So we obviously did those adjustments, and it worked out for us in our favor. It was a good opening game. It was a good measuring stick for us. It felt really good to play our first game and get the first win because we knew that Every game's different, so we had to stay focused one game at a time and we couldn't get too ahead of ourselves. So securing that first win, we looked for all the other wins after at that one. So at the time, St. Joe's and SCM was both undefeated, and so it was ultimately going to be a good game in the beginning when we both stepped onto the field. Going into the St. Joe's game, both teams were undefeated, so we knew it was going to be a very hard match. St. Joe's was an opponent who we knew uh, was very much our equal. They were number one uh, in their division. And we had scored first, and then we had stayed defensively together, and we played very well together. They came back um, like 20 minutes later and scored 1-1, but 
Five minutes later, we scored again. Aubrey Cassidy found the net. The way we responded almost immediately just showed kind of where we were at in that moment. I left that game feeling very confident in where we were at that particular point in the season and where we were going to be as uh, we came to close the season out. SSA was the last game of our regular season and so far we were undefeated and it was the big talk that SSA was going to end that. Going into the SSA game we knew that we had a lot on the line as well as they also had a lot on the line. There was a lot of chitter, chatter and online talk going back and forth. For that whole week um, we had been talking about it at school, all the girls on the team, even everybody who wasn't even playing soccer. Uh, it was really big with the parents and everything, a lot of drama. We went in up 1-0 at half, and we came out of halftime, and they tied it up 1-1, and it was just, it was amazing to see everybody pick up their level of play, knowing that we were tied and that a difference needed to be made so that we could win the game. The game was tied 1-1, and there was about 10 minutes left. I have a breakaway in the box, and the goalkeeper came out and fouled me, and I knew that all the pressure was on me. The game was 1-1. Our undefeated season was on the line here. And so going into the PK, I knew I needed to just stay calm and collected. I remember saying a little prayer, let Ains make this one if she makes any one all season. And I was just really thankful that she was able to put the ball in the way in the back of the net. Like, I know she can. When I scored the PK, I remember all my teammates running to me and we kind of like huddled up and we all celebrated because we knew that we were going to be victorious. We just had a few more minutes left of the game to get through. And when the final whistle blew, we knew that we had done it. We had an undefeated season and we had accomplished one of our goals. Whenever I realized that we had gone undefeated, it was amazing. I ran and jumped into Sophia's arms. It was a really incredible feeling to know that we had accomplished that all together. It's truly something special to see this, this class accomplish that, to see this team accomplish that. Credit to them for, for having accomplished something that hasn't been done since 2008. In the playoffs, we need to stay focused and not become complacent. We need to stay confident and work together and just not get down on each other, really focus on the end goal. We need to make sure that we don't grow complacent and play down to levels that we know we're above. It is the playoffs, so every team doesn't want to lose out, so they're going to play their hardest, so we can't get too complacent. And every day at practice, we need to practice our hardest and work our hardest so that we can go for another state championship. If we can play the way that we played against SSA and Dominican and St. Joe's, I think we'll really be able to put a performance on in the state game and just finish out what we started. Going into the state championship, I was definitely nervous because it's just the state championship atmosphere. You never know what can happen. When I woke up that morning and like was putting like on like the uh, uniform, like the sweatpants and stuff, like it kind of hit me, and I started getting a little bit nervous. I was feeling pretty confident and. Watching the guys battle before us was kind of nerve wracking, so I had a little bit of nerves for them and for us going in. 
The whole team was pretty confident. Um, we were familiar with this opponent, so we kind of knew how they played. Going into it, obviously being undefeated, um, going for our sixth straight title, like we have a huge target on our back, and that's easy for us to go into it like, oh, we got this, not thinking much of it, and being complacent. Going into this game, I just wanted us to play as a team and as one. We're gonna connect, we're gonna click, and we're gonna play our game. In the state game, it's crazy and it can easily get out of hand and we can easily lose sight of our goal, you know? So um, definitely to stay focused. Lakeshore wants to play, they wanna play direct, they want the ball bouncing. So we just discussed, hey, let's keep the ball on the ground, let's link up, let's connect passes. This is the game we've been waiting for all year. We knew that from the start of the first whistle, we were gonna give it our all and press high because we wanted to find an early goal. And within six minutes of the match, we found a goal. I crossed the ball to Jaden and she scored. The feeling is unbeatable. It was amazing knowing that I can make myself and my teammates proud. Obviously getting the first goal is really reassuring and something that's really nice, but then a 1-0 lead is not a big lead, so they could come out with like another goal at any second. Lakeshore always defends well and they're always physical, so no part of the game was ever easy. We really did want that second goal, and then sure enough, literally I think in stoppage time, we get the second one. I shot the ball and it bounced off the goalkeeper and Brooklyn Babineau finished it into the net. When it happens right before halftime, sometimes that all of a sudden their coach probably had a strategy and a halftime speech prepared if they were just one goal ahead and now all of a sudden now they're down two and you could kind of see it in their in their team and their players it was the, a deflating moment going into the second half we knew that a 2-0 lead is one of the most dangerous leads so we wanted to find an early goal and we did that off of a corner kick Kate Guillory found the back of the net. And so going up 3-0 really early in the second half gave us like quite the confidence boost that we could finish this game out and see it out to the end. There you go. I think that was kind of, you know, the nail in the coffin at that point. However, it happened with 38 minutes left to go. So uh, you don't want to like get too relaxed too early. They continued to wear down and ultimately we got the fourth, fourth goal. That fourth goal really put it away, and as we watched the clock tick down and we put all the seniors on the field, it was a really good feeling to know that this is how we were going to play our last game together. Uh, when the final whistle blew, I felt an extreme sense of exhilaration, just excitement. Uh, it just felt unreal, and it was like, what a great blessing like that I got to experience this and win it four times. Every moment leading up to that, every practice, every warm up, it all paid off. And the opportunity we were given to win this game, I couldn't be more thankful and I'm so proud of every single person on this team. Being able to win all four years of my high school career was just something that nothing can really top that. Looking back on this season from the beginning, I never would have imagined that we would have gone undefeated, had a clean sweep during playoffs, which is something that so amazing to have accomplished. I, like, I didn't know that we could do it. We've set a new standard. Uh, STM girls soccer has set the standard uh, for the rest of the state. We've set the record. North Shore was the first team to do five. It took. 30 years to break that record. We're hoping the next team that comes and does it, maybe it takes them 30 years. <laughs>